So, in the spirit of rapid fire presentations, Greg Harper from Supercell, go to it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so, these are kind of short, so I'm going to just dive right in. Uh, if you're not familiar with Supercell, I'll give you a little bit of background about who we are. We're, uh, Supercell was founded in 2010. Um, we're based in Helsinki, Finland. We got a small office in San Francisco. And um, about a year later, we did a, a pivot and uh, embarked on our current mission of reimagining games with the tablet first strategy. And what that means for us is we focus uh, all of our energies on creating the absolute best possible experience on the tablet. We do later optimize for phone and other devices, but the tablet is really our, our first priority. Uh, we've got an insanely talented team of 50 people, most of them back in Helsinki. Uh, nice diversity uh, of backgrounds from the game space. We've got people out of uh, social world, console, mobile, really nice mix. We raised uh, 15 million in funding from Excel partners, as well as uh, a couple other um, legends in the industry, Phil Harrison and David Gardner. And we have uh, three games currently in the market. Our first game uh, that uh, released in June uh, uh, 21st, is, it was Heyday. It's a social farming game with a unique twist that was built from the ground up for a tablet. Um, and I'll talk more about Heyday in a bit. Um, our second title uh, is Clash of Clans. And it is uh, an epic PvP uh, combat strategy game uh, set to launch next month in August. And our third title is called Battle Buddies, and it's a turn-based tactical combat game uh, that uh, is in testing right now in Canada, and uh, we've not set a, a release date for it. So uh, when I talk to a, a lot of developers, you know, I think uh, everybody believes that Tablet is a great platform and are excited to develop for it, but there's, I still get questions about timing and. Uh, whether it's, it's big enough right now to justify the investment and, and to do it. And I think probably a lot of people have seen research and analyst reports um, like this one with steep curves and, and growth. Uh, this one's by Mary Meeker from her uh, famous annual report on internet trends she does every year. And there's VC at Kleiner Perkins. Um, but for us, there's a lot of these, and, and it's one data point for us, but what we really focus on is is, is what percentage of our overall revenue can, can tablets drive. And when that hits 20%, you know, whatever the platform or channel, that's when it really justifies making that investment. And so for us, um, the, the real uh, thing is, is this number. And, and uh, that, that's based on, on both our own data, and we're actually in the upper end of that range. Um, so we believe that iPad you know, can drive 30 to 50% of your total iOS revenue right now. Um, and uh, as well as sort of conversations with other developers with top performing apps. So we do think that the time is right. Um, and if you do invest now, you, you can see a significant part of your revenue coming from, from Tablet. Uh, these are sort of our uh, five core principles for, for developing for a Tablet. You know, clearly nothing earth shattering here. I'm sure that uh, many of you have uh, these same uh, principles on your list, uh, some or if not all. Uh, and so what I thought I would do is just sort of share with you a little bit about how we think about and approach each of these. Um, uh, obviously, uh, gameplay is the, the most important. Um, it's, it's number one for a reason, but uh, um, that fun gameplay is that elusive thing we're all chasing. Uh, the, I don't have a slide for it because it's too abstract, but I think the, the, the important thing for us when we're focusing on gameplay is, is really at the early stage. Uh, we, spe we do spend a good chunk of our time creating uh, early playable prototypes um, that hopefully allow us to discover that, that sort of that kernel of fun that encourages us to keep investing, go further. Um, and then what's interesting for us is later, we've seen both with games that we've killed and we've killed a few, as well as those uh, that I showed before, 
uh, a good early sign for us is as they're getting uh, closer to launch, uh, when we notice that people in the office are playing them outside the office and people on other game teams are playing them, that's when it really sort of feels like we've, we've locked into something. And I think we almost had a, a riot internally uh, when we shut down our, our servers for maintenance on Clash of Clans um, during Alpha. Um, quality, uh, so uh, this is um, something that uh, I think the iPad has really kind of raised the bar on quality. And if you look at even outside of games, other apps, video, other experiences, um, the quality is really phenomenal. I think what that's done is set a certain expectation in the minds of, of customers now where um, that's really what uh, they expect to see. So we um, spend a, a lot of time uh, really investing in quality. It is something where it, it does require a lot of investment, uh, but we think, uh, and certainly from what we hear and the feedback from, from users, they do comment on it quite a bit. Um, so we do see a, a a strong benefit there. It does take both both tech as well as a lot of art muscle to uh, to get there. And and for us, sort of retina support is is that common bar right now. Um, so uh, obviously everybody is also talks about social, and there are clearly a lot of good uh, multi uh, sorry single player and solo experiences. Uh, but for us. Um, Social is a, a key ingredient of all of our games. We do think it enhances the experience quite a bit. Um, but our definition of social is when there is uh, a, an interaction between players inside the game. Um, and that can take many forms. In, in Heyday here, it takes the form of trading, where, where players are, are buying and selling goods with each other. It's, uh, it's become so popular that um, the velocity and volume of the trades are so fast that you actually see a lot of this happening in real time. So you post an item for sale, uh, whether it's here in your roadside shop or in the newspaper, and it goes instantly. And uh, we notice a lot of players going out to our, our Facebook fan page and uh, asking each other to, to add them on Game Center because they want more and more trading partners. Um, and it's just it's that exact, those, those bonds that we think sort of connect players and then become very strong. And when you do social well, um, you, you know, we believe you'll see, and, and we've seen it in the early results of, of Heyday, a real strong lift in, across all your key metrics, from acquisition to retention, engagement, and definitely monetization. So it really helps you know, in all those areas. Um, the, uh, you know, when you do sort of plant those, those seeds, uh, you also start to see other things happen as well. So in Clash of Clans, this is a clan page, and you probably can't read this here, uh, but it says um, in the upper part there, it says, this is a contest, and it says, whoever can get the most points between this Sunday and next Sunday will receive a $25 iTunes card courtesy of Trev5. Well, um, one of our guys uh, in the office found this, said, are we running a contest? And, uh, and we weren't, so this was all driven by them. But again, when you provide the tools and allow um, uh, those players to connect, uh, they will actually, I think, take it a step further and do uh, things in sort of unexpected and, and great ways that, that, that help the community. Um, touch UI. So touch is obviously sort of a, a new um, paradigm for, for all of software development, and so it's just you know, emerging. Um, and uh, it, it also, I think, requires a lot of investment, um, and you need to be careful about how you approach it, but I think if it's done well, you see a lot of benefit. It's another thing that we hear a tremendous amount of feedback on. I even joke with our team that I think we could have come up with a game that was nothing but um, swiping um, for, to plant seeds and, and harvest crops, and people would have uh, you know, been pretty entertained by it. But I think when it's done well, it actually becomes a core part of, uh, of the mechanic, and it becomes really fun. And so in, in uh, Clash of Clans, we have sort of a drag and deploy mechanism that allows you to sort of send out your troops. Uh, we also have sort of multi-touch controls where you can touch with two, three, or four fingers and, and release those troops. And uh, again, those things, uh, we've gotten tremendous response uh, from, from players on those. Uh, and then the, uh, the last one is, is personality. So we, we try to inject some personality uh, into our games. Um, 
and they, uh, they usually have sort of some quirky, fun characters. And this is something, again, where uh, the, the players comment on it constantly. And uh, they, really, um, they really like the, the various characters um, in ways they've taken on sort of a life of their own outside the game with some, um, certain sites that players have created. Um, and the one thing I would say here is animations are key. So again, another area we've spent a lot of time, but uh, people respond very well to the animations. And so, uh, so that's, that's sort of the, the, the rough approach that we take. And uh, in, you know, in terms of how it's been working, uh, you know, we did sort of plunge headfirst into the um, arguably one of the most competitive categories in, in farm, farm games. And uh, it's still early. We've got a lot of work to do still. Uh, but in the first month, we've managed to kind of reach number 18 um, on top grossing games for, for iPad and uh, feeling pretty good about uh, sort of the continued growth we see there. So, um, so again, a lot of work. But uh, uh, so far, we think it's a, a lot of that success is due to the combination of those, those five factors that I mentioned before. And that's, that's it. Thank you, Greg. That's super fast. You cruised Trend. through there. Questions for Greg? I have a question. When I first heard about Tablet First yep. as, a, as a philosophy, right? my initial thought was, well, that's an awfully small market. Um, doesn't tablet first mean iPad, basically? Uh, today, today it does mean iPad, at least for us. Um, and uh, you know, we're hopeful that there are going to be other uh, tablets that emerge. And obviously, you know, even just in the past month, you started to see um, people making some of those moves. So we'll see. But uh, for us right now, that's, that's the lion's share of the market. Uh, but you know, my, my, my slide earlier, that was the question is that, that I was hoping to sort of give people a little bit more encouragement and confidence around. Uh, the, the revenues are pretty significant there, and uh, we think it does make sense uh, to invest now. Uh, hi, I'm Jay Ben Carroll from Nobody Knows. We are an unfunded startup at this point, and I'm curious to know how big your staff was when you acquired funding. Uh, you know, I, so, so I'm fairly new to the company. I joined in February, and I don't know the exact count um, of where we were, um, Timur, do you know? Where we were about mid, uh, May of 2011? 15. 15, so around 15. The follow-up question was, how did you keep those people paid when you didn't have any money? Oh, so there, uh, we had raised a, a seed round uh, before, so the 15 million is total raised, um, and and the big round was uh, that we did was in May of uh, 2011. But we had raised raised some seed capital um, back in 2010. Um, so, sorry, this is way back here. My name is Reed Kaufman from Fresh Games, and I had a quick question about. I know that Hey Dave specifically um, started off with the tablet and then went down to the iPhone version of it. And it has some interesting tap con touch controls that you can utilize in there. Did you notice, or what were some of the difficulties in bringing that type of controls or even that entire setup from the large screen down to the smaller screen and still keeping the same level of quality? Yeah, so I, th I think uh, the, uh, the, the tablet obviously affords you a nice luxury with, with all that screen real estate from a UI standpoint. Um, and I think that uh, when, when you do kind of go down to the phone, there are uh, certain UI things in particular um, that you need to pay attention to. But uh, you know, there, were, there were changes made. In, um, so we did spend time to look at things like you know, the, the dialogue boxes that would pop up you know, during tutorials and those things. And those things were resized to work uh, much better with the phone. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of sort of little, little things that were done. Um, a lot around, around UI um, to, uh, to accommodate the phone. Hi. 
Uh, I was wondering, uh, my assumption would be that uh, we'd see some pretty staggering differences in sort of player behaviors between tablet players and phone players, right? You're not on the bus, you're not playing with one hand, et cetera, et cetera. Could you speak to me about uh, some of the changes or some of the ways that you've uh, seen that happen and utilize sort of those differences to gain some sort of advantage or? Um, yeah, so I think, uh, I'm trying to think if there's, there's uh, one or two things that would really sort of stand out in terms of the difference in behavior between the two. Um, I think, you know, not surprisingly, the overall engagement is, is a bit longer, but in terms of the actual, um, you know, behaviors, I don't know if I, there's anything that really sort of stands out right now. But uh, I, will, I will say um, that uh, our, our producer um, and product lead and vision is right over here, and he can probably provide a lot better insight into some of that. Do you want to take a shot at it? Uh, I'll share with the group. Come on. Uh, I'm Timur, so uh, product manager working at Supercell. So uh, we haven't done any detailed analysis uh, on the player behavior on different devices. Uh, of course, we've seen that uh, on iPhone, there are uh, the people are coming more frequently to the game, so there are more sessions, and the session lengths on average are, uh, are not as long as on iPad. But overall, like the, the session lengths are much higher than we were expecting in the beginning. Like usually in, on a farm game, uh, free to play, the session lengths are not that long, but in Hayda, you can easily spend uh, tens, of, tens of minutes, even like half an hour. And a big part of that is the possibility to do, do social trading there. So there's always a possibility to get to the next level if you do uh, quality trading with other players. Any other questions? Oh. The lively audience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was wondering what your opinion is on a iPad-only game, how viable you feel that is. Uh, <laughs> or tablet only. Sure. I mean, it, like with a lot of stuff, I think it always depends on the game. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we did focus very much on the, on the iPad, and we still do see, um, you know, a little more than 50% of our revenue from... Um, iPhone and iTouch, and so, uh, you know, in terms of the additional investment to optimize for those devices um, compared to the, the revenue opportunity that's there, I think it's absolutely worth kind of doing that. Um, I also think that uh, generally Apple will, will look on you probably a little more favorably um, if you kind of have a universal build that's supporting all the devices. Any other questions for Greg? All right, thank you very much, Greg.